this is the third part <laughs> of Lovers of Wilton. And this is what happened to them after they left Wilton Castle and went down to Northamptonshire. Another reason for them leaving Wilton Estate, I suspect, was because her mother, Lila, she died in 1944 uh, in this big place, Hollenby House, which of course was her childhood home, it was Lila Charlotte, Sarah White's childhood home. So I suspect that was another reason why they sold up at Wilton, but I suspect probably only a minor reason compared with the financial burden which it was beginning to impose on the family. Well, having sold Wilton Estate to ICI, Colonel John George and his wife Sarah seemingly moved down to this house, Gainsborough Court. This is an old photograph of it. There seems to be a reflection of a light there, probably on the glossy surface of the photograph. The Lowther's already had interests down in this little place called Gilesborough in Northamptonshire. Um, there's records show that Colonel John George together with Lord Spencer of Altrop, uh, they were leading lights in the division of the Pitchley Hunt, to which they'd belonged a long time, uh, to form a new hunt called the, the Woodland Hunt. Pitchley Woodland Hunt, which is still going. Anyway, they came to this house here, and uh, what we'll look at it now is what's happened to them since then. So, <clears throat> following their marriage in 1911, they had three children George Hugh Lowther. Bridget and Sir John Luke Lowther. He was an interesting character, this fellow. So this is the said Sir John Luke Lowther, who was born in 1923, and he only died in 2011. He was an old man when he died. And he lived at Galsborough Court for a long time. I suspect he inherited it from his father, Colonel John George Lowther of Wilton Castle, who had moved into Galsborough Court when he'd sold the castle in 1945. And he married a lady called Jennifer Bevan. In later life, they, uh, they moved out of Galsborough Court, I suspect it was too big, and they moved along the road to a place called Nortoft Grange, where Jenny Bevan still lives, or Jenny Lowther as she's now called. Or, uh, she still lives in the, uh, and they have an open day in the gardens where you can meander around. They're quite, uh, they're quite substantial and very nice. This is his obituary from the Telegraph on his death in 2011. He seems to have been a bit of a wag, and he was very popular. He was very well liked. And you see with Princess Diana. But again, he served in the army, like many of them. And entered politics. That's an interesting little bit there. After the war, Lowther worked for the Singer Sewing Machine Company as a door-to-door -door salesman. He was there for two years.
and he mentions in Veneshi House. He bought this with his brother-in-law as a sort of holiday home. In 2011, it was up for sale for uh, for a million and a half pounds. Probably uh, as a result of his uh, of his dying. Yeah. Got a little bit of big hole in the state death duties. This Holmby house came into the possession of George Hugh Lowther. I suspect he got it from his grandmother after her marriage. A lady called Lila, this woman who died in Kent. So this Sir John Luke Lowther, he was the last person to be born in Wilton Castle. He and his wife Jenny, as she's called, had three children. When they moved to Nortoff Grange, his son, Hugh William Lowther, he moved to Garsborough Court, where he still lives. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big farming business, essentially. And they had four children. Unfortunately, the only son, Bertie, he lived for a year or less, which must have been absolutely tragic. George Hugh Lowther, who had inherited this big house and, and, and land, Holmby House, he married uh, Sheila Foster and they had three children. Sheila, Georgina and James. And when he died in 1976, the estate passed to James Lowther, the current owner of the estate. He was a leading light in the Sachi and Sachi advertising business. I think he, he might have been a co-founder of it, but he was certainly there right at the very beginning. And uh, he's won all kinds of awards in the advertising field. But Hornby House, of course, has to, has to pay its way. And it's now uh, open for weddings, conferences, business meetings, you name it, anything that will make money. You can't actually go into the house without uh, a prior appointment, but the gardens are open. You can go and wander around the gardens. Similarly, at Garsborough Court, uh, there they have uh, a large art gallery, and uh, they use the gardens for displaying sculpture. So you can, you can go and have a look at that as well. And he married an American from Boston, Miss Catherine Wallace. And they have four children. One son, John William Dolphin Lowther, born in 1991. So he is the sort of last male child of this, uh, of this dynasty from Wilton Castle. Karen Wallace, this American from Boston, she is an authoress. She had a, her first book, book published in 2013. Uh, what's it called? The Perfect Capital. It's a sort of rather racy romance based in Kensington and Chelsea, would you believe? And it's been very well reviewed, it would seem. Uh, but it was based on a, a disciple of a strange fellow called Eric Gill, who was, a, who was a sculptor of sorts in the arts and crafts movement. But after his death, when, they, uh, when his diaries came out, 
it would seem that this very deeply religious Roman Catholic in his diaries had written in graphic detail about his sex life horrendous which involved his children his sister and his dog it seems an awful long way from the the verdant woodland of, of Wilton When this book was published, they had a sort of post-publishing party in Soho in, in London. Uh, and uh, they appeared in Tatler magazine. There's photographs of uh, this little girl and, uh, and those two there, which I haven't included. And the latest bit of news is that this girl here, Natalie June has just got engaged to a George R. Van Voorhis the Fourth of New York. What would his <laughs> what would Colonel John George make of it all? I have no idea. Anyway, there we are. That's uh, where they came from and, and where they went and where they are now. three parts of Lovers of Wilton and that completes the videos about the Wilton estate.